Things that will help you produce a really superb result on your resin coating are to get your equipment ready before you start. This includes all your resin, but your stirrers and your cups and your heat gun and absolutely everything before you start. Keep any children and animals away. It's not just for safety, but it also means you don't get dog hair in your resin. Put your mobile phone somewhere safe. I've ruined at least two telephones by touching them when I've got resin on my hands. Level your artwork or your photograph before you start. That doesn't mean that you can't level it once you've um, got resin that's sliding off one side. Um, have some shims ready to put under one edge so that you can keep it level when it's curing. And make sure that the temperature, that the room that your artwork is in is correct. It needs to be about room temperature. Too cold and the resin takes a long, long time to set. Too warm and it will set before you're ready to finish processing it. So get the temperature. Around about room temperature is ideal. Think about your edges. Allowing resin to run over the edges might be the easiest way to deal with this and you can wipe away any drips with a finger. Remember, using a heat gun makes the resin more liquid and so it will flow over the edges more. You may want this to happen. Or you might want to seal your edges with tape in order to prevent resin going on the edges. If you have mounted your photograph or your artwork on foam board, then you might consider doming the edge. This means pushing the resin right to the very edge of the piece, but not allowing it to flow over. It's particularly appropriate for foam board as resin doesn't stick well to foam you get a nice neat finish. Do you want to use two coats? If you have any blemishes at all in your first coat, you can wait until it's fully cured and sand it and then apply a second coat. You might want to add two coats in order to add depth to your artwork. So two coats is a possibility. With most resins, if you apply the second coat sufficiently quickly after the first one, you don't need to do any surface preparation of the first layer before adding the second layer and it gives you a completely seamless join. Sanding scratches simply don't show if you add a second coat. You need to allow time for your resin to fully harden. Most resins will cure in about 24 hours, but they're not completely hard then. You might want to allow about seven days for most resins to come to full hardness. The longer you leave it, the harder they become. Some resin manufacturers recommend post-creation processes. So for example, oven curing things that are going to be coasters, for example. Um, this means putting them in an oven for sort of 16 hours at 60 degrees and you end up with a resin that's much more resistant to high temperatures. Or you can sand and polish. The sanding and polishing makes the top surface of the resin slightly less shiny, but also much more resistant to scratching. This is appropriate if you're going to use your resin layer for furniture, for example. And finally, hang your artwork out of direct sunlight most resins say that they are resistant to UV and they will protect your artwork, but no resin is completely infallible from this point of view and it's a good idea to keep your artwork out of direct sunlight.